Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and I almost knocked the tripod over already. <laughs> Just starting and I'm screwing up. Um, I am here with a thrift haul from the church. I went yesterday, um, but I didn't get a chance to do a haul. Um, after I got back from the church, I started baking my Christmas cookies. So I... Um, I got half done yesterday, and I just finished the other half. Um, I made seven kinds. Normally, I make like ten kinds, but uh, I'm just too tired. I'm, <laughs> I'm done. Baking, done. So, now that I have everything cleaned up, I figured let me jump on and do my thrift haul for you guys. Um... I found something yesterday that I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to find and yesterday I found it. So I am very excited but I am not showing what I found until the end of the haul. So stick around. All right, well, um, I guess I'll start off with um, yesterday was a day for sun catchers. Um, even though this one is broken over here, I don't care. I love it. Um, it's very uh, vintage, and I'm still planning on, I'm going to glue it uh, wherever it needs, and I am still going to hang it. So I got this one, this one, This one still has the price tag on the back. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> and I got a couple smaller ones here. Then we got Santa and Rudolph. We have Santa and an angel. We have Santa again and another train. And we have a snowman. And I also got, let me put these underneath here. I also got this one here which I love. I think it's so awesome. The nativity scene. And I also got this one. This one is gorgeous. Love it. Love the colors. It's got the pretty little jewel in the center for the star. Um, okay. So that was it for sun catchers. Um, then I found some um, really nice candy molds. Um, we make candy at work um, for the different holidays. Um, but I also make candy um, on Valentine's Day and stuff like that for my kids. But these are all Christmas molds. This one's the Christmas trees and the snowman and Santa. And then this one is Christmas trees, snowmen, and Santa. And I mean, these are like brand new. This one is, is the same as the last one. I think there's, how many of there? There's one, two, three, four. Okay, there was four of the ones with the Christmas trees, the snowmen, and the Santas. And these are all like to make suckers if you want. And this one is as well. This one, pretty cool. And then there's two like this, which are, these are Easter, I believe. Um, yes, it says um, IHS. If you can see it up on the top here. So those are for Easter. All right. So let me set these down over here. Because I know I'll knock them off the table. 
Um, <laughs> I have not seen one of these since I was probably five, okay? I had to get it. Like, how could I not get this? This is freaking awesome. You know, it holds the toilet paper. Oh, my word. That is awesome. Look at the face. She's, like, acting all, like, you know, oh, pshaw. Oh, my God. Too funny. I had to grab that. <laughs> um, then I grabbed this set of tins, uh, nuts and bolts, and I plan on using this downstairs. I have a three-tier Rubbermaid shelf with all my hardware, and these would be perfect to put all the nuts and bolts and screws and all that, the whatnots, in. And there's uh, two more of them. And you can write on here what's in here. Awesome. All right. Um, then I got this really pretty little jewelry box. It needs to be cleaned up. And, it's, and it is uh, silver plated. It says silver plated zinc. And it's lined. So I grabbed that. I thought that was very pretty. Um, grabbed this really cool little measuring spoon or little scoop. Um, it still has a tag on it. And it's Moonlight Shenanigans. Specializing in handcrafted ergonomic wooden spoons, utensils, bowls. Um, yeah, so I grabbed that. And this very old, um, I believe it's a, a can opener. Um, I think it's probably used to take the lids off of the canning jars, the sealed part. Awesome. Speaking of kitchen, I grabbed this bag of corn on the cob picks. <laughs> this way I don't have to burn my hands off when I'm trying to eat my corn. I love corn on the cob. Oh my word, love it. Um, then I grabbed this clock. I just thought that this was the coolest clock. Um, it takes batteries. It's not really old or anything, but I just liked it. I liked the, the shape of it and the design. And then, of course, you know, I had to get some milk glass. So I got this set of, there's three of the tall goblets and then one of the shorter ones. And of course it's the grape and leaf pattern. And the one said 50 cents and the other ones said a quarter. So um, I don't know if she charged me 50 cents each or a quarter. I didn't really look at my receipt, but it is what it is. Um, then I got a couple of candles. Um, I just thought they were really cute. Um, this one has a Kmart sticker on the back. And this one, I don't know who made it, but it's this cute. Look at how cute he is. Look at that face. <laughs> Nothing on the bottom, so I don't know if it's a girly candle or not. But I just liked it. Um, grabbed another box of these, um, Angel Chime candles. I just really like the box. I thought it was really cool. And the candles are really nice. They're, um, they're actually spiraled. So, okay, let's see if I can get it back in here. Probably not. So we'll just put it over there. Um, I got a few books. I actually grabbed this photo album for my daughter. Um, doesn't look like it was ever used. Very cute. And I also got this for my daughter, Winnie the Pooh uh, book. It's in excellent shape, and the, the pictures in here are just gorgeous. Gorgeous. 
Um, I got this for my nephew. He's um, he's gonna be five years old in March, and it's it's got all different. Um, it's a little memory album, and it has like kindergarten and um, the teacher's name, new friends, favorite activities, awards, field trips, uh, and then it and each one has a little file pocket. And then it goes from first grade and it goes all the way up till, let me see, sixth grade. And then it has, um, in the back, it has a spot for medical records. So I thought this was really cool. Um, this is a pretty vintage uh, cookbook. And I wanted, you know, it's called dinner in a dish. So it's got to be like, almost like casserole type meals. Um, so I want to check this out. Um, it has connoisseur casseroles, duet dishes, crowd side suppers, um, oven quick, skillet quick, broiler quick. Everything I like in quick, quick, quick. Uh, main dish salad, sandwich specials. Salads, yeah, so this is going to be really cool. I'm going to have to check this out. I like... <laughs> Very cool graphics. So, let me grab these pages that fell out. I don't know exactly where they fell out from, but oh yeah, look at this. Yeah, so that'll be really cool to check out. I just got to figure out where those pages go. <laughs> it's a pretty old book. Um, let me see what else. Let me see. Um, I did get a few other paper products, which I wanted to show you guys. Um, I got this three-piece... Um, cardboard die cut uh, Christmas decoration. I do not know. It says BY Pasic AGC. No idea. Um, but I just thought they were really cute to go with the other ones that I got. And then I got, I got some vintage wrapping paper. Um, got this really pretty wedding. This was a small piece. And then there's one like this, silver. Uh, I forgot the name of this story with this snowman. But I remember the book. I just can't remember the name of it. This is a really pretty uh, for a baby gift. And then we got a congratulations. And this baby one. <laughs> very, very cute. And this one, <laughs> how cute are those? Uh, let's see, we got a birthday. Oh, and I grabbed this uh, plastic placemat. Place mat. No, pl it's not a placemat, it's a tablecloth. Plastic tablecloth for work, for when we're doing crafts that involve paint and glue. <laughs> so we don't have to clean the tables afterwards. Um, I got, this stuff is in a bag, let me just pull it out. Um, this is wedding. And this one says, congratulations. 
All right, so let's get that out of the way. Um, I got this jar. I just thought it was really cool. It says Stoli on it, and um, the only Stoli I know of is vodka. Stoli Shinoya. Um, but I don't know. There's a sticker on here for a quarter. I'm trying to see. I can't read. Looks like it's made in China. But it has measurements on it and everything. And I don't... I'm going to have to look this up. Because this comes out of the lid. It's just a regular canning jar lid. I don't know. If anybody knows what the heck the significance is of this, let me know. And it says Stoli on the lid. So I don't know. But I actually just got it to store stuff in. Um, I got a bunch of ornaments and I'm just going to show them to you really quickly. Let me show you these here that are on the table first. I got, there's, they're made out of wood and they're little angels. There's two like that. And then one in a pink dress and one in a green dress. They were handmade. It's got a M on the back. Um, then I got a bunch of these. They're very thin. Got an angel. Very pretty. And a Santa. A couple different kinds of Santas. And then I got two angels. Oh, did I show you guys these? Yes, I did. The two bears. I don't know. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> All right. And then I got this cute flocked. Very cute. Um, I got a bunch of um, wooden ornaments. That one's the soldier. Here's a, another one. Nutcracker soldier. It's a nutcracker. He works. <laughs> the other one is just a soldier. Uh, here's another one. Nutcracker. <laughs> um, then I got this one I got this really cute Santa got this pretty bulb here love this one really pretty Um, I got these two that I love. These are really cute. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> um, I got this. I know he's got the, the spun head, they call it. I learned that from Miss Stoneholm. I don't know if it's spun silk or... Um, Oh, here's some more, another wooden angel that I missed. And actually, I dropped one on the floor. Okay, but I showed you that one. Then there's this really cute uh, crystal one with Santa and snowflakes. And these I got ma mainly um, for doing um, miniature things like the... the uh, the cheese uh, dome that I did, uh, winter scenes. So I buy these small, oh, here's another one, spun head. Vintage ornament. Um, 
another angel. They were in all different colors, all made by the same person. Um, I got this little elf. He's made in Japan. Doesn't want to focus, but he's a little cutie. Um, I got this one, 1980. That was the year before I graduated from high school. I got this pretty angel. Um, another wooden I have a uh, bag of these down in the basement, so I wanted to add to the collection. I got this for my friend at work who loves owls. This is going to go on her Christmas package as a, as a topper. And then my nephew, who loves um, dinosaurs. Oh, wait, here's another little miniature, little dog. Or a fox. That's a fox. Um, he loves dinosaurs, so I found these little dinosaur ornaments. How cute are those? Look at that. <laughs> There's those two. There's those. And these two. Oh, this one, he's got the, the hat on his tail. <laughs> Very cute. He'll love those. He'll hang them right on the tree. Um, and then I got, let me, some more smaller items. I got this little tin. I just thought this was so cute. Hat comes off. Don't know what year it was made in or anything. Uh, I got this cute snowman. This is also, um, I could use um, in a lantern if I wanted. I have Binks locked in my bedroom so he doesn't come out here and jump on stuff. He's having a fit. Got this Japan little angel. It's like the other one I got with the hole in the head. I don't know what the hole is, but... Then I got... This one's missing the platform, but I got these two deers. This deer. I got a tree. And then I got a bottle brush tree, another one. And then I got two of these small trees. Look at, oh, sorry, you know, I burned the heck out of myself the other day cooking dinner. Oh, yeah, it, it, it hurts as bad as it looks. <laughs> and then doing Christmas cookies and trying to wash dishes in the hot water. Oi, oi, oi. Got this little bottle brush wreath. I got these two ornaments, and they are very, very heavy. Um, I don't think I would hang them on a tree. I would probably hang them elsewhere, but I absolutely love these. How cute is that? Look at the face on that Santa. Look at this one. <laughs> I love them. They're made in China, and... I absolutely love them. I found another little figurine. Forgot. Got another tree. The box is pretty dirty. Um, I got, I thought this was actually, whoops, I dropped one. There's three of them. Um, these are little wreaths made out of garland. I thought it was just regular garland. Um, and I wanted them for our tree at work. But um, that's okay. We'll find some something to do with them. Um, 
excuse me a second. I got a bunch of these picks um, for crafting. Very pretty. Packages, berries or grapes. Packages, packages, and then those two. I got, excuse my behind, these two uh, heavy brass candle holders. I got this miniature um, nativity scene. Um, let me bring the camera. Oh no, I'll, I'll, I'll do that last. I'll do that corner last. Um, let me pick this angel up off the floor. Put her over there. All right. I got some linens and, well, I, I just put these over here with the linen. I got these three ornaments. And they are made out of material. And the person put magnets on the back, but they're actually ornaments. I got those three and these two. They were made in China. Then I found this. I, I, I think it goes on a doorknob. <laughs> I found this elf hat. Look at it. <laughs> it's got the ears. Oh my God, I'm wearing this to work. I found this pretty uh, doily to put on the center of my table. Found this really old vintage uh, Christmas stocking. <laughs> found some really nice stockings. This one I love. Look at this one. It's like all embroidered. Isn't that beautiful? That one. This one. It's probably made by the same person. Donated by the same person. Very, very pretty. A lot of work. Then I found this one. It looks like needlepoint. My grandmother used to do needlepoint. She actually uh, made a set of uh, cushions for her chairs in the dining room. They were all needlepointed. They were beautiful. Found this little tree skirt. It's got to get washed. It's filthy. Found this nice uh, kitchen towel. I like that vintage look. Found this really pretty um, table runner. Uh, found another tablecloth, a uh, linen one. Then I grabbed a couple plastic tablecloths um, just because. This is American Greetings, actually. <laughs> and then I got one like this. This is pretty vintage looking. Yeah. All right. So that's it for my linen stuff. All right, so if I don't stop dropping things, I mean, I'm sure you guys are sick of looking at the top of my head. All right, now for the piece de resistance. Let me take the camera over here. I'm going to take it right off the tripod. I am going to turn this around, and I am going to show you what I got. If I can figure out how to do this. Okay, I got this really pretty um, angel um, decoration to hang in my window. But then I got this, also this um, icicle decoration. I can hang it outside or in my window. It lights up. I just don't have enough plugs to plug it in for you guys. 
Okay, but that is not what I am excited about. Let me set this down. This is what I am excited about. I found my ceramic tree, guys. <laughs> yes, I finally found one. Look at that, Lindsay, yay! You said prayers that I'd find one. Guess what? Prayers do work. Yes, they do. They work in many, many different ways. The only thing that's wrong with this tree is on the very top. It's chipped right on the very top. And it's missing just a couple of um, bulbs, which I will get replacements. I'm not really sure what size bulbs this tree takes. Let me show you guys one of these. Maybe you guys know about what size it is. I don't know, but I'll, me I'll try to measure it. But yes, guys, that was my fabulous find. That tree I only paid $5 for. Yes, ma'am, $5. Okay, guys, um, I had to give that shout out to Lindsay um, over at Mad Girls Vintage. Uh, she seems to find those trees all the time, and I'm like, damn, Lindsay, how do you always find these trees, and I can't ever find one? And she said, oh, I'm, I'm saying prayers to the thrift gods that you'll find a tree, and yes, I did. Um, I am very excited about it, um, but I'm not selling it. I'm keeping it for me. I love it. I can remember people making those trees when I would be at ceramics with my mom. So we're going back like probably the early 70s. But, uh, yep, so that's going to do it for me, guys. Um, I am absolutely tired. I'm worn out from baking and thrifting and you whatever. So um, that's going to do it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, oh, let me tell you what I spent. I believe I spent $62 plus tax. But I think, oh, oh, wait. I also got this sled back here. You guys, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Yes. I also got that sleigh. It's a sled. Um, it's brand new. It had a tag on it and everything. Um, okay, let me just take a look around. Did I forget anything else? No. Okay, so the sleigh, the tree, the decorations, all this stuff here, all the linens. $62 plus tax. Um, I think I did pretty, pretty good. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, guys, and um, I hope you guys have a great week, an upcoming week, and um, I will be back with another haul video. It's probably not going to be a Half Price Wednesday haul, though, because I have to work late this Wednesday. So, um, but, anywho, I will be back, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!